Hi guys, welcome back. We are going to start talking about slope today. Now, we talked about that. We talked about last week or last section, rate of change, okay? Now, rate of change we can find by the change in y over the change in x. So we have the slope formula. So whenever we have two points, we take the two y values and subtract them. And that goes over the subtraction of the two x values, okay? Now, when we're looking at this, this little y1 and y2, okay? All that means is you're taking the second y and subtracting the first y. Now, thankfully, you can actually do y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 and get the exact same answer, right? So we'll use this one more just because then the 1 and 2 thing isn't stopping you. But just so that way you know, this is how that formula will pop up, like if you were to search slope formula on the internet. Also, slope is m. Why they chose the letter m, I'm sure it's some weird Latin word, whatever. I know it seems like it should be s, but they use m. So m is equal to slope. So make sure that you know that. That's going to pop up a lot in this chapter, okay, and the rest of your math career. So m is slope, okay? Remember that. All right, so... If we have two points here, okay, I'm going to label these two points. We have four, negative two, negative one, ne I'm sorry, negative one, two. So this would be x1, because x always comes first, and y1, x2, y2. That just helps you keep your information organized. And again, remember our slope formula is m equals y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So y1 is going to be negative two y2 is going to be 2, so all I did was pull these two down and make sure you're taking the proper sign. x1 is negative, or is positive 4, I apologize, minus negative 1. Now notice I put that negative 1 in parentheses when I plugged in because there is a minus here, which is here, and then the negative 1 is coming from there. So please, please, please make sure you're watching those signs. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. This becomes a big plus sign, so I get a positive 5. So my slope is negative 4 fifths. You will get a lot of fractions for slope, and that is okay. Fractions are not a bad thing. Okay? All right. Again, they gave us two points here. Negative 2, 2. Negative 2, negative 1. I apologize, and 2, 2. So I would have x1, y1 x2, y2. Now it doesn't matter which one is which as long as the x1 and y1 go together and the x2 and the y2 go together. So I can't have like y2 here all of a sudden. Okay. So I would have y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So you should have this formula memorized. So if you keep saying it every time you do your problem, that will help. So we'll have negative 1 minus 2 over negative 2 minus 2. So negative 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 3. Negative 2 minus 2 would be negative 4. A negative over a negative becomes a positive, so my slope is 3 fourths. Okay, so we're just plugging and chugging away. If you are given a table, pick two of the points. Doesn't really matter what two, so I could pick the second and fourth one. So this would be x1, y1, x2, y2. So again, my formula is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And again, if we keep writing that and saying it, it'll be memorized fairly quickly. So 1 minus 5 over 2 minus 2. Well, 1 minus 5 is negative 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. Anytime we're dividing by 0, that cannot happen. That is undefined. So if we remember, based on yesterday's lecture, if we're looking at that line, it would be a vertical line because it is a undefined slope. We don't like to go skiing down that slope. All right, let's continue here. So the graph shows how much water is in a reservoir at different times. Find the slope of the line and then tell what the slope represents. Okay. So we have x1, y1, x2, y2. Again, labeling those can really help. So again, our formula is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Y is over x's because it's rise over run for slope. Remember, we talked about that uh, yesterday. So we're going to have 3,000 minus 2,000 over 20 minus 60. 3,000 minus 2,000 is 1,000 over negative 40. So we're going to have negative. And 4 goes into 125 times. 
So it's going to be negative 25 is our slope. Now what that slope means is we are losing 25,000 feet cubed per hour, right? Because there'd be a 1 over here per hour. So losing, because it's negative, 25. And so I looked at this unit to figure that out. So 1,000 feet cubed. Sorry, guys. Per hour. Okay, so I got my two labels there, and that's how I could tell what that slope actually meant. Okay, so we found slope from a graph, slope from a table. Now we're going to find slope from an equation. When we want to find slope from an equation, we need to find two points. Okay. So in this case, I like to find the intercepts just because zeros are easy to solve. But you could have picked a, a 1 for x, right, or a 2 for x, whatever works for you. You just need two points in order to find the slope. So 3 times 0 plus 2y equals 6. So we have 2y equals 6. So y is going to equal 3. Okay, so that's one of my points. And then if I do 2, whoops, sorry, 3x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. We'll divide by 3 because this just disappears. x equals 2. So again, I will have my two points here. So now I found my two points. Now I will find the slope. So we'll have x1, y1, x2, y2. So again, my formula is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, which is going to go ahead and give me 3 minus 0 over 0 minus 2, which gives me 3 over negative 2, which is the same as negative 2 thirds. Whoops. And not the same as negative 2 thirds. I apologize. I just wanted to move my negative sign. This would be the same as negative 3 halves. Apologize. Whew. All right. Go ahead. I want you to go ahead and try this next one. See what you get. So again, I'm going to make a table. You can choose any two values, but I like the zeros for x's and y's. So we have negative 4 times 0 plus 5y equals 20. This goes away. Divide by 5. y equals 4. And then we're going to go ahead and plug in, whoops, 0 for y. Again, this goes away, so I'm going to divide by negative 4. So x equals negative 5. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and move this out of my way. So I can do my slope formula. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So my formula is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So I'm going to have 4 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 5. Make sure you're taking that sign. So that would be 4 over 5. Okay. Have a wonderful day, and we will talk to you later. Bye.